Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. Therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. This is part of Moses' uh, instructions to Israel. This is getting to the end of his life. And he's reminding Israel of God's faithfulness. And Moses understood uh, the, the temperament of the Israelites. When they saw trouble, they forgot that God was faithful. And then God gave them a miracle, and hooray, they're excited. And then they get into trouble and forget the faithfulness of the Lord. And so he just knows that he has to assure them of God's faithfulness because they are just about to go into the promised land. There will be many uncertainties. There will be many battles. But he said, hey, remember, no matter what you go through, God is faithful, and he's a covenant-keeping God. And that's the same word I want to bring to each one of us, that listen, no matter what we go through or what news we hear or what happens around us, God is faithful. We serve a faithful God. As Christians, we are not immune to the attacks that come to our world. We are not immune to trouble. And the Bible never at any point assures us that we will live a trouble-free life. Rather, the Bible tells us that there will be afflictions and there will be hardships. Jesus Christ promised his followers of so many troubles coming. But he said, when you go through those, remember, I am with you and that God will deliver us. So we cannot be immune from the troubles of our world. They will come in different forms. Surely the storms of life will come and they will come when we least expect them. Now, most of us would wish that the troubles will announce their presence way ahead of time so we can prepare for them before they come. Then they would not be tests to our faith. Troubles come when we least expect them to test our faith. And so we're not uh, expecting it, but it's come. But God is faithful. And we trust him on the mountain and we trust him in the valley. The same God of the daytime is also the God of the nighttime. When we see him, he's faithful. When we don't see him, he's faithful. When we feel his presence, he's faithful. When we don't feel his presence, he's faithful. And that's the reality of our walk with God. It's a walk of faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. So there may be things turning topsy-turvy all around us. There may be turbulence all around us, and we don't know what is at the next corner, and we don't know how things are going to pan out, but we know God will remain faithful in the dark and in the night. So I want to just assure you, don't lose control of your faith in God, and don't lose control of your own assurance of God's faithfulness. He's a covenant-keeping God. Your job is to trust him, that he will remain your constant in an ever-changing world. He will be there when nothing is there, and he will be with you, and he will keep you, and he will give you the victory. So remember the faithfulness of the Lord this week as you go throughout the week and all the activities that you will be faced with. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are a covenant keeper. I thank you, Lord, that in all situations, you remain faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. We serve a faithful God, trust him, and he'll pull you through. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.